quick sketch of this situation, much prefer to do it on paper, would suggest that you do it on paper, but for my people that insist on not using paper, we got a quick sketch. Now this time, since you're not going to be able to see the axis anyway, you can make an even quicker sketch. All right, we don't need to put any numbers onto the axis if we can't see the axis anyway. All I really want to do is get a rough idea where is 314, where is 826. So 314, matter of fact, let me, uh, let me shift this way down. Let me shift this way over because we're all up in the positive territory. So forward three up 14 might be around here. All right, a lot higher than it is across. And then 826 is going to be farther to the right, higher up. All right, maybe twice as far. Maybe that's six, seven, eight. Not quite twice as high. All right. That's a quick sketch. What we look like. Then the up and down distance from one point to the other is from 14 to 26. That's plus 12 and the left to right distance from 3 to 8 that's plus 5 alright that's going to mean our slope is 12 over 5 which is 2.4. That's going to mean our equation is y equals 2.4x plus something. Use one of our two points. So I could use 826 or I could use 314. Uh, let's use 314 because it's smaller. y should be 14 when x is 3. 2.4 times 3 is 6. 7.2. I want to add 6.8 to that to get me up to 14. You can double check it with a calculator. That means my equation is actually going to be y equals 2.4x plus 6.8. Okay, if I want to use that now to find the value of y when x is 20, then we just go y equals 2.4 times 20 plus 6.8, which gives us 48 plus 6.8 equals. Fifty-four point eight. That's our question mark.